one of the world's biggest oil companies, is to start publishing details of the impact of climate policy on its business, isn't it, Steve? Very closely related to what we were just hearing there from Damia. Exxon Mobil is to change the way it reports it resu- its results to include the effective policies that are designed to limit the increase in global temperatures. Now, that move follows pressure from shareholders, but was opposed by the company's board, which felt their existing systems already addressed climate-related risks. Now, Exxon was one of the companies that supported the Paris Agreement two years ago. They've since signed up to other initiatives to reduce carbon emissions. This new policy, though, will see the company discuss more radical changes, including how it would adapt to a low-carbon future. And meanwhile, here in France, uh, a major new investment's been announced as well, hasn't it, Stephen, for solar panels? This is from the largely state-owned energy giant EDF. It's going to put €25 billion into solar energy in the next 15 years. It's planning to generate 30 gigawatts of solar power by 2035. That's four times the amount that's currently produced in France. The panels will cover up to 30,000 hectares of land, much of which will be located close to existing power stations owned by EDF. And then an announcement actually coming is that more companies are choosing to invest in a greener way as well. Well, the Paris Agreement set a goal of $100 billion in green finance by 2020. The idea is to help companies find cheap funding for climate-friendly projects. So-called green bonds are a key part of that plan, as Sherry Sitba now explains. Green financing allows companies that carry out environment-friendly projects to finance them through green bonds. This year in France alone, investors bought 17 billion euros worth of green bonds. Bankers have noticed green financing has a positive image among investors. Green bonds cost the same as standard bonds. That's what's so beautiful about this product. It's as if supermarkets sold fair trade coffee at the same price as regular coffee. Anyone would choose fair trade. That's why the green market is soaring. How does it work? Companies that need to finance their green energy projects get money from investors. In exchange for their cash, investors get green bonds, which generate interest. But not everyone plays by the rules. There isn't much oversight, and some of the projects are anything but green. We realized that green bonds were used to finance an airport. Spanish energy giant Repsol used green bonds to renovate its refineries, which means they will keep operating longer. NGOs are calling for more transparency in the sector. The price of oil has jumped after news that a Scottish pipeline will be shut down for repairs. A small crack was discovered in the 40s pipeline last week. It brings about 40% of oil from the North Sea onto land for processing. Its owners, Ineos, says the pipe will be shut down for three weeks for repairs. That news sent the price of Brent crude jumping on the markets. Ineos says the shutdown may impact industry, but not consumers. But you can see the price of Brent there up over 1% in trading today. On the stock markets, things pretty calm in Asia. We've got falls across the board, the most dramatic in the, in Shanghai, where the composite there is down by almost 1%. Investors looking ahead to the central bank meetings in the Eurozone, the United States and the UK, all happening this week. Now, two American regulators are warning about the risks of investing in Bitcoin. The Securities and Exchange Commission and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission have weighed into the frenzy surrounding cryptocurrencies. That's after Bitcoin made its debut in the mainstream financial system this week. The chairman of the market's watchdog, the SEC, says it's keeping a close eye on trading. Meanwhile, the CFTC says it can't protect many future investors uh, and they should be aware of the high level of volatility and risk. Bitcoin futures began trading on Monday in Chicago, sending the price of the currency to a new record high. But many investors are remaining cautious. Just, uh, it's an exciting uh, phase for this. It's a new asset class. Uh, but I don't think people should jump in yet. It's a very risky uh, asset, uh, risky investment category. So I would hold off. If you just want to gamble, okay, that's fine because you don't know. There is no price discovery. We don't know what the intrinsic value is. So I think at this point, if you just want to put in the money and just roll the dice, that's fine. But if you're a smart investor, you'll wait, see where the dust settles. 
couple of pieces of companies news for you. Toshiba has settled a dispute with Western Digital, which will pave the way for the troubled Japanese giant to sell its memory chip unit. The Wall Street Journal says the legal cases being taken by both companies will be dropped to allow the $18 billion deal to go ahead. Toshiba is keen to raise money after its US nuclear business declared bankruptcy last March. And the Australian shopping centre group Westfield is being taken over in a deal worth almost $25 billion. It's being bought by Europe's largest commercial property firm, Unibal Radamco. Westfield owns 35 shopping centres in the UK and in the United States. And finally from Stephen, uh, we're going to talk about a new airline now. Airline with a bit of a twist. Yes, an art line, maybe. An this is line. the okay. Angel Ha Ha airline. Promises not only to be a mode of transport, but also a work of art. The Chinese artist Kin Min Liu, who created the carrier, says it's a piece of performance art where she doubles as a flight attendant and a performer and choreographs everything for her passengers. Now, her aim is to fly people to art events all around the world. Tickets on the maiden trip from Teterboro Airport in New Jersey to Miami cost $3,500 per person. But a more affordable version is apparently in the works. Now, there's uh, apparently she sang during the, uh, oh, during the okay. flight to keep people entertained, while also, of course, handing out peanuts. <laughs> okay. Hopefully not both at the same time. <laughs> you never know. Exactly. <laughs>